Ranger 6 was a space probe launched by NASA in 1964 as part of the Ranger program, which aimed to send robotic spacecraft to the moon to gather data and images in preparation for future manned missions. Ranger 6 was the sixth of nine Ranger missions, and the first to carry a television camera to the moon. The Ranger 6 spacecraft was launched on January 30, 1964, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard an Atlas Agena rocket. The spacecraft was designed to crash land on the moon and send back high-resolution photographs of the lunar surface before its impact. However, the previous five Ranger missions had all failed, so the success of Ranger 6 was far from assured. After a journey of over 65 hours, Ranger 6 approached the moon and began transmitting images back to Earth. Unfortunately, shortly after the camera began operating, a malfunction occurred, and the spacecraft stopped transmitting. The mission was a complete failure, and none of the images were received or recorded. Despite the disappointment of the Ranger 6 mission, it provided valuable data for future lunar missions. Engineers were able to identify and correct the problems that had caused the mission to fail, and subsequent Ranger missions were successful in their mission of gathering data and images of the Moon. Overall, the Ranger program was an important stepping stone in NASA's efforts to explore the Moon and paved the way for the manned Apollo missions that followed. The lessons learned from the Ranger missions helped to refine the technology and techniques necessary for human exploration of the Moon and beyond. The Ranger program was a series of unmanned space missions conducted by NASA between 1961 and 1965. The goal of the program was to develop the technology necessary for a soft landing on the Moon, as well as to obtain scientific data and high-resolution images of the lunar surface. In total, nine Ranger missions were launched, of which only three were completely successful. Ranger 6 was the first Ranger mission to carry a television camera. The camera was designed to take high-resolution images of the Moon's surface and transmit them back to Earth before the spacecraft impacted the surface. The camera was equipped with six lenses that covered a 360-degree field of view, and it was capable of taking up to 1,000 images per minute. The Ranger 6 mission was plagued with technical difficulties from the start. The spacecraft's solar panels did not deploy properly, which resulted in a lack of power and reduced the amount of data that could be transmitted back to Earth. Additionally, the camera's thermistor failed, causing the camera to overheat and leading to a loss of the image signal. Despite the failure of Ranger 6, the Ranger program was considered a success overall. The program provided valuable data on the lunar environment, including the Moon's radiation levels, temperature, and composition. The images captured by the Ranger missions also helped to identify potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. The Ranger program was a precursor to the Surveyor program, which sent soft landing missions to the Moon to study its surface in greater detail. The data and technology developed by the Ranger missions were crucial in the development of the Surveyor program, which successfully landed seven spacecraft on the Moon between 1966 and 1968. In addition to the scientific and technological advancements made by the Ranger program, it also played an important role in the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. The Ranger missions demonstrated the U.S.'s commitment to lunar exploration and helped to establish the U.S. as a leader in space exploration. The Ranger program was not without controversy. Some critics argued that the program was too expensive and that the scientific data gathered by the missions could have been obtained through less costly means. Others argued that the program was too focused on propaganda and winning the space race, rather than on pure scientific research. Despite the criticism, the Ranger program was widely viewed as a success at the time. The program helped to establish the U.S. as a leader in space exploration, and it paved the way for future lunar missions, including the Apollo program. The Ranger missions were not without their risks. Because the spacecraft were designed to crash land on the moon, they had to be built to withstand the impact. However, this meant that there was a high risk of failure during launch or in the spacecraft's descent to the lunar surface. Ranger 6 was not the first spacecraft to attempt to take images of the Moon's surface. The Soviet Union's Luna 3 spacecraft had already accomplished this feat in 1959, sending back the first images of the Moon's far side. In addition to the Ranger program, NASA conducted a number of other unmanned lunar missions in the 1960s and 1970s. These included the Lunar Orbiter program, which sent five spacecraft to orbit the Moon and map its surface in detail, and the Lunar Prospector mission, which mapped the Moon's composition and searched for resources such as water ice. The Ranger program's legacy lives on today in the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO, a spacecraft launched in 2009 that is currently orbiting the Moon and mapping its surface in unprecedented detail.
The LRO's mission is to gather data that will help scientists better understand the moon's geology and prepare for future manned missions to the lunar surface. The Ranger missions faced a number of technical challenges, including problems with the spacecraft's guidance and navigation systems. These challenges were exacerbated by the fact that the spacecraft had to be built to withstand the impact of a crash landing on the moon, which made them heavier and more difficult to control. One of the key innovations of the Ranger program was the use of radar altimeters to measure the spacecraft's altitude above the moon. This technology allowed the spacecraft to adjust its trajectory and avoid obstacles on the lunar surface during its descent. The Ranger 6 mission was a disappointment for NASA, but it was also a learning experience. The agency used the data gathered from the mission to improve the design and performance of the camera for future Ranger missions. The Ranger program was not the first attempt to send robotic spacecraft to the moon. The Soviet Union had already launched a number of lunar missions by the time the Ranger program began, including the Luna series of spacecraft that orbited and landed on the moon. The Ranger program was not without its political implications. The US government saw the program as a way to demonstrate its technological prowess and leadership in the Cold War. Some critics argued that the program was driven more by political considerations than scientific ones. The Ranger program was just one of many space exploration initiatives undertaken by NASA in the 1960s. During this time, the agency also launched a number of manned missions, including the Gemini and Apollo programs, which sent astronauts into space and eventually to the moon. Today, the data gathered by the Ranger missions is still being used by scientists to study the moon's geology and history. The images captured by the Ranger spacecraft are also used by lunar researchers to identify potential landing sites for future missions. The Ranger program was a major technological achievement for its time. The spacecraft were designed to travel at speeds of up to 6,000 miles per hour and withstand temperatures of up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit during their descent to the moon. The Ranger program was also notable for its use of advanced computer technology. The spacecraft were equipped with guidance and control systems that used digital computers, which were still a relatively new technology at the time. The Ranger 6 mission was launched on January 30, 1964, from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The spacecraft traveled for four days before reaching the moon. Despite the technical difficulties that plagued the mission, Ranger 6 did manage to transmit some data back to Earth before its impact with the moon. This data included information on the spacecraft's trajectory and velocity, as well as some low-resolution images of the lunar surface. The Ranger program was a precursor to the Apollo program, which eventually landed astronauts on the moon. The data and technology gathered by the Ranger missions were used to develop the guidance and control systems for the Apollo spacecraft. The Ranger program was also notable for its international cooperation. NASA worked closely with scientists from around the world to design and build the spacecraft, and data from the Ranger missions was shared with researchers in other countries. The Ranger program was not without its tragedies. In 1962, the Ranger 4 spacecraft was lost due to a malfunction during its launch. In 1964, the Ranger 7 mission succeeded in taking high-resolution images of the lunar surface, but the Ranger 8 and Ranger 9 missions were both partially unsuccessful due to technical difficulties. Despite the challenges, the Ranger program was considered a major success at the time. It provided valuable data on the lunar environment and helped to establish the US as a leader in space exploration.